What's up, everybody? Uh, so just picked up a really awesome epic T206 card that I want to show you guys. And I figured since I added this to my collection, I'd give you guys my top 10. Now with that new card, what is my top 10 tobacco cards? Uh, before I get into that, just pick this card up, by the way. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, so this is a 1952 Bobby Brown. Look at that. Uh, in an SGC 8, uh, looks like it's a 10. Um, it's not a 10 because uh, if you look at the back, there's a stain there. But um, I picked this card up. Um, Mike, Mike, baseball collector, and I went to a Yankee game a couple weeks ago. And uh, we were just talking about this guy. Talk about living a full life. Uh, so he was a physician, uh, was in two wars, uh, was the president of the American League at one time. And, oh, by the way, <clears throat> won four championships with the Yankees. So pretty awesome. Uh, and, you know, not too, not too expensive. I think it was like 80 bucks for this card in an SGC 8. Uh, so really awesome. You know, you buy guys that are kind of like minor stars from the 50s, even in an 8 for uh, under 100 bucks. So look at that. Absolute beauty of a card. So, um, all right. I'm going to move on to my top 10 tobacco cards. Uh, the brand new pickup is somewhere in that top 10. So we'll get to that eventually. And you can see a couple cards I put in the background, but I decided to put this card at number 10. Um, in terms of value, it wouldn't be number 10, but uh, it is the oldest card in my collection. So I figured it was deserving of getting in the top, de top 10, 1887 old judge cigarettes. Um, so this is actually a, um, a minor league card. He was, um, this, this set had, um, uh, players from 40 major league and minor league teams. Uh, and, uh, this picture was taken, um, at the hall studio in New York. Uh, just such an old school card and I absolutely love it. And, um, it was actually the card that I, uh, when I was doing, when I first got into YouTube videos, uh, this was the card that I picked up to make the uh, the history of baseball cards video. If you guys have seen that uh, back when I first started doing YouTube videos, this was sort of the card that kicked off that video. Uh, but he, uh, this guy, Sun Daly, at the time he was playing for the uh, Portsmouth Lilies or something like that for uh, in the minor leagues. Um, he was only in the major leagues for one year. Uh, he was with the Orioles in 1892. But in 1887, uh, he was in the minor league. So the, the fact that he even has a baseball card is really cool. And you can see here, uh, you could, I don't know how they took this photo, but it looks like he's about to swing at a, a baseball that's in mid-flight there. So really cool card at number 10. All right, at number 9 um, is this guy, uh, Willie Keeler, Wee Wee Keeler. Uh, playing for the New York Highlanders. Um, this is one of those cards, like I was, I was thinking about, you know, the Yankees are all about, you know, if you watch, you know, Yankees uh, broadcasts, they talk all the time about their history. You know, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle. Um, but so I'm kind of surprised that they don't talk more about this guy, Willie Keeler, um, who is basically the, the best uh, player to ever play on the New York Highlanders. Um you know, had a 341 lifetime batting average. There was one year where he hit 385. Um, so, and there was at one point he had a 45 game hitting streak, which was eventually broken by Joe DiMaggio in 1941. Uh, but this was one of those guys like that never struck out. He was impossible to strike out. I think there was a statistic of, about him having the lowest percentage of strikeouts per at bat, some somewhere at the top of that list, which is kind of funny because the Yankees all they do now is strike out. <laughs> but uh, it's a it is interesting that the Yankees um, don't make a bigger deal about this guy. Um, one of the greatest Yankees of all time, um, and a really cool player to you know if you're looking back at the you know the New York. New New York Highlander history. Um, all right, at number eight, uh, and now don't get mad at me, guys. You know, it's, it's, I, most of this list is based on value, but at number eight, uh, went with the 1931 uh, Wills Cigarettes um, Walt Disney card uh, at number eight. So this is a uh, Walt Disney card um, and uh, in a PSA six. Uh, I, I always thought this card was really cool. You know, uh, Mickey Mouse was invented in 1928. 
So the fact that this card even exists in 1931 is really amazing to me. Uh, you know, this is obviously before, you know, he started doing movies and theme parks. I think he's 30 years old in this picture. And I think he actually had a nervous breakdown in 1931. Uh, but uh, just a, such an awesome card. And this was in uh, packs of cigarettes. You can see here, Will's Cigarettes. Uh, so uh, I thought was deserving to fit in my top 10 uh, for tobacco cards. Um, all right, and number seven is um, this card, uh, 1909 Piedmont Cigarettes, Cy Young. Uh, absolutely beautiful card. Uh, obviously, the front looks amazing, and then it's the paper loss on the back uh, that brings it down to a P to an SGC one. Uh, but you know, from the front, it looks like it could be like a five. But um, Cy Young, um, he uh, just a couple stats to throw at you. In career, he has the most career wins, most career losses, most career innings pitched, most career games started, and most com career uh, complete games. If you ever get into an argument of uh, what is the statistics statistic that will never get broken, the answer to that question is complete games by Cy Young. Uh, 749 complete games. And just to kind of back that up, like why that's impossible to, to break, uh, last year, 2021, the players that had that, though I think there were three pitchers that had that led the uh, all of Major League Baseball in complete games, and it was three. So <laughs> three complete games. How many years would you have to do to get to 749 complete games? If you lead lead all of Major League Baseball with three, I think the most this right now, uh, I think Framber Valdez has uh, two complete games this year. So that is, this is a record that absolutely will never get broken. Seven hundred and forty nine uh, complete games uh, at number six uh, went with the Rube Waddell in uh, a T two O six and a PSA four. And uh, you guys know I love Rube Waddell. I love his story. Um, obviously, the front look looks a lot nicer than the back. Um, but uh, if you want to, like, you know, just see dominance, uh, look at Rube Waddell's stats uh, from 1902 to 1907. It's just absolutely crazy. Um, led the year, uh, led the league in strikeouts. Uh, every single year from 1902 to 1907, um, he was so dominant that during exhibition games, he would just wave people off the field um, and just he would pitch the batters and strike them out. Uh, he was a little crazy. <laughs> you know, he would uh, run after fire trucks in the middle of games, uh, you know, would wrestle with bears during the offseason. It, it, you know, just he was kind of had a crazy life. Uh, but if you look at um, 1904, uh, had led the league with 349 strikeouts and a 1.62 ERA. So absolutely dominant pitcher uh, would, um, you know, d actually him and Cy Young would, uh, there, there are some uh, legendary stories of those two battling it out, um, you know, back in the early 1900s. All right, guys, so here it is at number five is my brand new card. I haven't taken it out, so uh, it's in the eBay authentication guarantee, and here it is. Uh, my first T205 uh, gold border card, Christy Mathewson, and I uh, haven't taken this out of the authentication yet, so I'm going to take it out now. Um, I'm actually a, a fan of the, the authentication. I know a lot of people are not. Um, I just think it's good, you know, it, what, what's wrong with an extra peace of mind? Um, and I, I think the eBoy, eBay authentication is really cool because, you know, there's a lot of people that get scammed out there, you know, especially these new collectors, uh, and these um, ridiculous people that uh, go on uh, and sell stuff on eBay as a, a reprint when they know it's not a reprint. Um, and they'll say they found a card in their, uh, in the attic. So I think it's good, especially for new collectors that they send really valuable cards to, uh, an authenticator to make sure it's authentic. Um, but this one, uh, clearly authentic T205 gold border, uh, just an awesome set. It really tough set to, uh, get a, a, you know, good grade. And you can see the chipping on the, the gold border there in a 2.5. Um, and there's the back. The back is actually really, really nice. Um, so sovereign, my first sovereigns uh, cigarettes um, card, 
But Christy Mathewson, uh, top 10 in wins, shutouts, ERA, uh, served in World War I. Um, there was one World Series uh, in 1905 where he threw three shutouts. <laughs> Can you imagine in the World Series, he threw three shutouts in the 1905 World Series? Uh, so one of the greatest of all time, um, he was one of those, uh, the five players ever to, to get it, uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, along with, um, you know, I think it was uh, Ruth and uh, who was it? It was Cobb, Walter Johnson, Ruth, uh, Christy Mathewson and uh, Honus Wagner. So those are those five players that got inducted in that uh, first ever Hall of Fame. So I'm just so excited to add this. Uh, to the collection uh, ahead of the national. Maybe I should have saved some of this money for the national, but I just saw this and I, I, I just, I wanted it. I bid on it and ended up winning an auction. Uh, so really, really awesome car. You guys will have to let me know what you think uh, of this uh, brand new Christy Mathewson added to the collection, but uh, really, really excited uh, to add that. Um, at number four, just to kind of round it, round out that top 10, uh, the King Kelly Goodwin Champions. Uh, this card was produced in 1888. Um, and it's, by the way, there's uh, 50 cards, um, 50 players in this set. Um, I don't know if this will be able to focus, but uh, really created. I, I love the way that it says baseball up here. I don't know if you guys can read that baseball. It's like two, two separate words. Uh, you can see here that the first ever football card is in that set with Harry Beecher. Uh, and then you can see there's uh, billiards and uh, bicyclists and wrestlers on the back of this. But really, really awesome card. Uh, King Kelly, he was, uh, he was the first player ever to be, uh, he was sold to the Boston Bean Eaters for $10,000, which was completely unheard of. Like nobody ever uh, got $10,000. So he was actually known as the $10,000 Kelly. That's how big of a deal it was that um, he was sold for $10,000. Uh, he was a player coach. Um, he he actually um, is known for kind of inventing the hit and run because he was a, a player coach and uh, the hook slide and uh, would foul pitches off on purpose. So uh, he was very innovative um, and a lot of people came out to see him play. First like real star of baseball. Uh, so uh, really awesome player. Boston Bean Eaters. You can see here that they were in the old judge gypsy queen cigarettes i don't know um i don't think there's any way to know if this was an old judge pack of cigarettes or a gypsy queen pack of cigarettes uh because it I, there's no way to know that from what i understand um but uh, old judge gypsy queen king kelly at number four at number three you guys may have heard of this guy um the georgia peach uh ty cobb 1911 Piedmont cigarettes. Uh, this is in a 1.5. Obviously, you can see the crease in the middle there. Just such an iconic card. Um, and uh, at one point, I, I guess he set 90 Major League Baseball records, which is crazy. Um, if you want to re like get an idea for how uh, insanely good Ty Cobb was, one stat that really sets him apart to me is uh, most runs produced. He's number one. Uh, in terms of most runs produced with 4,072. Uh, and number two, just to kind of give you that uh, that sense, was uh, uh, Hank Aaron with 3,700. So that's just like how much, how important he was uh, that he, uh, you know, over 300 more runs produced than the second player on that list. I don't know. It's just kind of incredible. Um, so there he is, Ty Cobb at... Uh, Number three on this list, and obviously lower on this list because of the um, the grade, 1.5 there. Uh, number two, uh, in terms of my best uh, tobacco cards, uh, is this Walter Johnson in a PSA 4. I talk all the time about Walter Johnson probably being the best pitcher ever, especially if you compare him to his... Um, you know, his counterparts, again, part of that, uh, that first five that were, um, inducted into the hall of fame in 1936. But if you want to get a sense for how dominant, uh, Walter Johnson was, just look at, um, 1913 for just for an example, won 36 games was 36 and seven with a 1.14 ERA through 11 shutouts. He actually has the most shutouts in major league baseball history. 
uh, and in that season had 11 and uh, 243 strikeouts in that one year. 1.14 ERA and 36 and 7. And then number one uh, for me, tobacco cards, uh, without a doubt, uh, is the Cap Anson, which I've showed a million times on this channel, and I'm sure I'll show it a, a million times over. Uh, this is the uh, a card that I spent the most for, um, it, you know, for any card that I've ever uh, purchased. Uh, might be the most valuable card in my collection. It's hard to know. I, I, there hasn't been a, uh, a PSA 5 Cap Anson that has sold since like 2019, 2020 or something like that. So it's been a while since, you know, a card like this has sold. But um, he's actually, if you look at that list I just showed you guys, uh, he is number four on that list for runs produced. Uh, so that's how good he was, you know, ahead of, you know, if you look at runs produced, ahead of Barry Bonds, ahead of Honus Wagner, ahead of Pete Rose, um, is number four, Hank, <laughs> Cap Anson, probably the greatest player of the 1800s is, is uh, Cap Anson. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, let me know what you guys think of my, my list. Uh, here is one more time uh, the brand new addition to the collection, Christy Mathewson as well as I, and I'll pull it out uh, as well as the Bobby Brown. So my two latest additions to the collection, and those are my top 10 tobacco cards. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. Um, and uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later.